I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and Apparently. flashed out. Revelio.
Revelio. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Revelio. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenore. Everyone. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos! That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. It's good that children are too young. Repair. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to all very logical, I suppose. You have a knack for solving riddles. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I... My mother... Repairer. Revelio. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new... I'm told you're in dire need of some... Is this your first fo... It is. I haven't left... Well, I shall... Hogsmeade's a charming little place. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. 
Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in the here. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. I hear Elsa hopes the other's left. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have been one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me. Accio! Yes. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, I'm inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This Revelio. is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. Accio! Give them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see Accio. that. Accio! Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably, that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! I think as salters! What did, Mr. Moon? Lumos. Demi... Guys. Ugly and airy and... Terrible. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, 
Revelio. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like monsters. Bodega! So how would you like to do this? Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing.
curious indeed. How intriguing. Dragon Heartstring Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Repairer. Accio. Rebellion. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I... I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. Of course it is not... Stay the... That's certain. And I, too... Spellcrafts, I... But I shall let Professor... A potting table? I believe so, sir. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry.
Still not cast it. Repairer. Let me also. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Revelio. Pardon me, sir. Oh, the... It's my first time. Is it really? Well, you'll have read it on the sign, of course. How may I help you? Professor Weasley sent me to collect... You're the student. I set your things... Is it not the most... A potion's free? They may not be. As it's your first... I also have... But for now... What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. There. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I... 
<laughs> I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I... But what? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Rebellio. Accio. Rebellio. Accio. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Accio. Reparo. Levioso. Accio. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Revelio Accio Repair it. Lumos. Accio. Repair it. Levioso. I officially have... Excellent. I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Nicely done! 
Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repairer. Oh, hello there. Lucky they didn't do more damage. I'll go and see what he wants. thing for us to sing to worry about. Off on another adventure, are we? Repairer. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. I should like to thank you for your... I was happy to help. <laughs> Frankly, you deserve an order of Merlin. I own Gladwell. And, as I suspect, this won't be your... Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? I'd say that... Perfect. I sell even more battle words. Uh, 
Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Revelio. I'm certainly glad, sir. I can see that. I think you'll need to tell Professor Weasley. Don't want to risk another detention. Repairer. Revelio. Protego. Revelio.
Revelio. Protego. Accio. Levioso. I wish I had something to boast about. Repairer. I suppose I'm not allowed out there. Seems that's off limits to me. I can't go up there. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Sorona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Revelio.
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Reparo. Revelio. Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Revelio. Defending Hogsmeade against trolls. Lumos. There is such a thing as trying to. If only a new student were to help me with. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Lumos. Reparo. Revelio. Accio. Lumos. I believe we have some matters. I'm here about the new... Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Might some kind soul help me? Revelio. Reparo. Revelio. Accio. I wouldn't bother yourself about that. Revelio. Reparo. Revelio. Accio. Reparo. Revelio. Accio.
Revelio. Lumos. Levioso. Revelio. Ah. Oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice your bowl? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Mm. Not for the week. Please, please, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, like inside of a jar. Huh. Repairer. You should see your Revelio. Repairer. Accio. Lumos. Revelio. Repairer. Lumos. Revelio. Levioso. Repairo. Accio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Revelio. Lumos. Levioso. Revelio. Lumos. Levioso. Repairer. Accio. Repairer. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Repairer. Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Accio. Levioso. Lumos. Accio. Repairer. Accio. Levioso. Revelio.
Rebellion. Ugh. 